Most self-publishing platforms, including Amazon, recommend that you add a table of contents to your ebook. So let's have a look and see how to add the table of contents. Here's my sample book. I have the book title and a credits page. So I need to add a new page for the table of contents. So we'll insert a break, add and we'll style this a little. We'll make it bold centered and we'll add our table of contents here. It's important that all your chapter headings are in heading one. So here you see the style is heading one. You can search in your document map and because they're heading one, you will have all the chapter headings listed. Now let's go back to our table of contents. There's two ways you can add a table of contents. One is using words insert, and we go here, table and indexes. But the problem is, by inserting it automatically, the table of contents, the formatting is different and it's not suitable for an ebook. You have different levels, you have to take out the aligned pages and page numbers. So the best way is to insert a table of contents manually. Let's cancel there. So let's see how we do that. Because all of our uh, chapter headings are in heading one, we go to heading one and select all. This will select all the chapter headings in our book. Then use control C to copy from on your keyboard Control c and then in a text editor, paste. Now we have all our chapter headings. Next step is to make it in plain text, so convert into plain text. OK, and now we have our list ready for our table of contents. Select all, copy, back to our book, in table of contents and we paste. Now we have our chapter listings and we want to make these centered. There we are, we have our table of contents, except they're not linked. They need to be hyperlinks so that the reader can jump from one chapter to another. So how do we add a hyperlink? Select, let's try that again. It's best to try and select in front of the tab marker. Right click, add hyperlink, document, locate, headings. Now, here is the list of our chapters. So num this is number one, we select number one. Okay, okay, it's now a hyperlink to the chapter in the book. Let's do the next one. Locate headings. OK, do one more. Number three. Now we have the links to our chapters. And if we click on these, they will forward to the chapter. The end result when you publish is you will have the listing of your chapters down the side in the Kindle app or on a Kindle. And that's what we want to achieve with a table of contents. Now these are numbered. You don't have to number them. You can have chapter one if you wish. You can change the way that you uh, list your chapters, but as long as you have a hyperlink from one, uh, from the table of contents into your book, it will work on Kindle.